Hey people, it is Monday, May the 23rd, and the time is 1.46 in the afternoon, and it's currently 14 degrees Celsius, and it's also Victoria Day, and I'm here with my friend Jim, he's Hello. visiting from North Bay, Hi, Ron. Special guest. and we're here at the intersection of Dundas and Sherborne, which is always an interesting place, as you can see. <laughs> yep. And Jim and I are walking to our favorite sub-place in the city, Belly Busters. I've mentioned it many times on the channel before. So that's on King Street West in the Entertainment District. So we're going to walk south along Sherborne here to King Street, and then we'll walk west along King Street. And today is a statutory holiday, so lots of things are closed today, but many restaurants are open, as well as things like movie theaters and tourist attractions are open. Is this the store we get the Fago sometimes? This is the Sam store where me and Jim encountered a very scary clientele one night oh, when we were going in to buy some fago pop and yeah that was quite the experience <laughs> once we walked in we couldn't walk back out we had and, to go in oh what's this over here now <laughs> this is quite, the, quite, the corner, quite, quite the typical of dundas and sherborne here This house here, there's a YouTube channel all about this house. See that camera right there? Yeah. This guy who lives here, he posts videos of all the weird shit that happens in front of his house here. People are constantly... Like just the sidewalk here? Like yeah, people are... He's got a few cameras, I think. People are constantly up to all kinds of ridiculous nonsense, and he captures a lot of it on his huh. camera, and then he posts it on his YouTube channel. Can I check it out? <laughs> And a lot of people in the neighborhood are aware that he has cameras there, and I guess they don't like to be, you know, put on his channel. So sometimes they try, they come and try to sabotage his cameras, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we got some Muzak here, so I'll just talk over the Muzak, as I like to do. Cannot get away from the Muzak. You think you're safe? Well, you're wrong. People just think this is their personal nightclub or something. <laughs> this is what you do. Talking over the copyright claim music. <laughs> I bet you that is going to get me a copyright claim, man. Yeah. yeah. What happens yeah. You just pay whoever owns that revenue. Yeah. I don't get any ad revenue if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? He has a scooter with a big freaking speaker on the scooter? Like, that's a bit over the top, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, pigeons. Yep. I don't know what you I love personally, I like pigeons. They're smarter than people give them credit for. You think? Yeah. People, you know, call them feathered rats and stuff like that. <laughs> they don't get enough credit. Oh, speaking of pigeons, check out the nice... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So I almost wanted to go in there and buy some fake oil. I was tempted. <laughs> right now, then you have to carry it around. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we've walked down here before, but we've never recorded it. No, huh? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a loan. Have you ever uh, went to the park on the other, down the other side? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or you still drink beer? You still drink beer? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> people do. <laughs> It's not legal, but people do it anyway. Yeah. Here's Shooter Street. Oh, look at all the pigeons there. I like pigeons. Yeah. No shortage of pigeons around here, that's for sure. Have you ever gotten anything like, remember I was talking about the ducks I saw last night? And obviously with the bats and spiders at the uh, Leslie Street Spit there. And pigeons and dogs. But have you ever got anything unusual on video? Like, 
like a raccoon, for example, or anything like that. Mm. Not, not that that's unusual. Oh, I unusual. got a skunk just recently. You got a skunk? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a skunk just rummaging around in the right. grass. And you got it on the video? Yeah. It's like a daytime sighting. You don't usually see skunks yeah, out in the, in, the, in the daytime. And that was actually the first time I've ever seen a skunk in Toronto, ever. I know they're around because I smell them, but I've never actually seen one, right? Yeah, I'm definitely sure that they're open. <laughs> so this is the... I've seen lots of raccoons. This is the fun Dollarama to go to. <laughs> it's, it's always a bit of an adventure going to that Dollarama. I used to. It's the closest one to my apartment. But then since they opened the one up at Young and Dundas, yeah. I just started going to that one instead. Right. Okay, look at all the pigeons here. <laughs> yeah, they're congregating. Yep. <laughs> what do you call, you know how they have like a group of, it's like a pod of whales or a, what do you, what do you call a bunch of pigeons? A flock? You know, I would imagine. Like <laughs> What'd you say, a squawk? A flock. Oh, a flock, like a bird. Yeah, yeah. But not every bird is a flock. No, but I think... But pigeons are a flock. I think... A flock of pigeons. Like a flock of seagulls. Yeah, I think there's nothing special about pigeons where they get their own fancy word, you know? <laughs> a murder of crows, though. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. what, and what is it a cat? Cats is a funny one. What is it again? It's like a claw of cats or something. Like that. Yeah, I... I can't remember. I can't remember that something one. Something funny like that. I think I've heard it before. I just can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. So here's Queen and Sherborne. I'm good, how are you? I'm okay. I'm going to the mosh. No, I'm not working. So the sketchiness sort of comes to an end here as soon as we... It's a cloud room. That's right, it is. Is that right? Yeah, it is. That's exactly what it is. What are we saying? The sketchiness sort of ends suddenly once you cross yeah. Queen Street here. It just this is the sketch cut off right here. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I thought that one was gonna get run over when you first started. Really? Yeah. I thought she was going right down the middle of the road. I was scared. Yeah. Scared. And that has happened a few times. Yeah. At that intersection. A couple of people have gotten run over. I thought you were talking about that other street that's uh, a few blocks towards Dundas Square from your place. There's like a... Uh, oh, the next block over. Yeah. yeah, that's just one block over from my street. Yeah, that's where I thought you were... Originally. George Street. Yeah. I thought we were going to go down that street. Mm. You know, I'm going to be really disappointed if they don't have our picture on. For real. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> like, I almost feel like they just took our pictures last time just to get me to shut up or something. <laughs> Here's Richmond Street. Oh, it's probably going to be a hot summer trial. Yeah, probably. Some people seem to think it won't be, but there's yeah. no way to tell, right? You just have to wait well, I mean, and see what happens. I mean, I guess. <laughs> what do you call the scientists that study that sort of thing? I don't know. I don't think they can predict whether the summer will well, be hot or cold like months in advance. But they, they can follow trends though. So right, they right. Factor things in and whatnot. So they can have a general. Because I don't know how many times I've read things saying like this winter is going to be brutal, yada happened. yada, and then it was just a regular mild right. Toronto winter, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, they can never be like completely one hundred percent. Yeah.
Hmm. What's going on? Well, it's almost two o'clock already. Mm -hmm. we, we probably should have left earlier. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. We might have to alter our plans a bit. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want to do. Because my bus doesn't leave until seven. Yeah, I mean, that's no problem. It's just deciding on what time the movie we should go to. Right. We might have to rethink that. So here's Adelaide Street. I used to live on Adelaide Street, but not here in London. In London, yeah. A lot of the street names are the same, right? There's a Dundas Street in London. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little bit of an adventure too, living in West Adley, London, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there's some building going up over there. Oh, there's... Plenty. <laughs> yeah, is it still going on? Oh, yeah. A few years ago, the big boom, but I guess the boom's continuing. Yeah. Just in my neighborhood back there, there's about seven or eight tall condos all going up at once. Yeah. Yeah. And here's King Street. Well, I guess we'll just cross and then we'll walk start. Heading west on King. Yeah, you can definitely tell it's a holiday. Things are a lot quieter. Than they would normally be at this time. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I noticed that uh, this morning when I went out. Oh, look, one of those uh, pizza dispensary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different. Yeah. I've never used one. That's right. It's a pizza vending machine. Yeah. You can just order up your pizza and it spits it out. I think it takes about ten minutes for it to make your pizza. Have you Have you done one yet? No. Probably, I assume 24-7, probably go there at 3 in the morning. I would imagine, yeah. Oh, that's a nice little dog over there. <laughs> Looks like an old guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think we'll be in the area yeah. that we want to be in by 2.30. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep an eye on the time. Because yeah. not only are Jim and I going to Belly Busters, but we're also planning to go see a movie. Yeah. And the movie we're planning to see starts at 2.30. And it's two o'clock now. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Doctor Strange. Yes.
and the multiverse of insanity. No. What is it? Madness? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. What was that other one? We were watching that review earlier. That other movie? Everything Everywhere All at Once or something? Yeah, yeah. The short round was that his name? Right. In the Temple of Doom? <laughs> yep. And what was his name in the Goonies? Data? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was Data. <laughs> it's funny that there's more than one well known character called Data. Who would have ever thought that? All I remember about the Goonies is that Josh Brolin was in there with him. And what's his name? Yeah, that played the Hobbit, Sam. Yeah. Here's and that Jarvis. Old lady. What's that old lady's name? Which one? That old lady in Goonies. Oh, I forget her name, she but. Was in she yeah. was like 50 something when she died. She wasn't that old. Yeah. People she, thought she was like some old woman. She always she played like, older than her yeah. <laughs> real age, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I actually watched her in an old horror movie, uh, really? Deadly Friend. That's all I did. Oh, yeah? That's great. That was great. St. Lawrence Hall. Oh, yeah, what goes on here? Oh, it's just a really old historic building. Oh, it's like a public. It's hard to believe it's been here that long, you know? What, 100 years? More? More than 300? that. 1850. 1850. Yeah. No, I think even earlier than that. It said 1850 on the plaque, but. Yeah. And there's St. James Park. Yeah, I'm going to do it. St. James Cathedral. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. That is the How tallest is church steeple in Canada. Really? Yep. And How I, th that? I think the second tallest in North America. I think only St. Peter's in Manhattan has a taller steeple than that. Look at this dog. This dog kind of looks like a fox a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, is this like a dog park? Lots of dogs. I don't think there's a dog park in St. James Park actually, but yeah. people just walk their dogs anyway. Because there's a dog area at that other park by your place. Yeah, in Allen Gardens, yeah. I think it would... would, would... What could you just have? I think I was in there when I was a kid because they brought us all to Toronto for a grade 8 trip. I think they actually still do a grade 8 trip. Yeah. Someone told me that. But anyway, to Toronto. But yeah, I think I went in there and all the beautiful. I remember the state. If it's what I'm thinking of. In St. James there? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Or St. Catharines. Where's St. Catharines? Is oh. that a different one? That's a different one. I don't know where that is. Is that in Toronto? You know I've maybe? never heard of St. Catharines Cathedral. Maybe, wrong. maybe it's that one. Yeah. I just remember the big beautiful stained glass windows and stuff. It was some big church in Toronto. It's probably that one. It's probably that one. Yeah. That's the biggest, most famous one. Probably that one. <laughs> and they were, I remember them saying you're not allowed to take pictures. Oh yeah? For some reason. <laughs> that makes no sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just cross Church maybe Street. Too holy, maybe, or something. Too holy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I something comes in anyway. Or maybe the flashes are somehow going yeah, to be damaging to the, I don't know. The old. The architecture stained something. glass or something. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? And that was back in the days of flash. And right, yeah. Yeah, I remember the Great Eight Trip to Toronto. It was fun. They took us everywhere, man. We went to the zoo. Uh, the planetarium, which is kind of boring. The science center. Yeah. Um, the cathedral. Uh, I can't remember the other places. There's a few other places. CN Tower. Mm -hmm. 
I never had a grade 8 trip. I had a grade 6 trip to the Science Center. And then I had a grade 9 trip to the Art Gallery of Ontario. And I'm trying to think of any other ones. Hmm. Well, I felt <laughs> bad for the kid because it was like a billet thing. So one week the kids from Toronto came and stayed in Cochrane. And then the next week, the kids at Cochrane went and saved in Toronto. Oh. And so you were assigned a, you know, billet, they called it. Right. Me. Yeah. But I just felt bad for the ones coming from Toronto, to be honest, because, like, they're going to be so bored, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like, we're going to look at the, you know, the, the dam. <laughs> look at Chimo. Yeah, you know, like. <laughs> There's Toronto Street. Toronto has its own street named after itself. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, when I had trips, they were only day trips because North Bay is a lot closer than yeah. Cochrane, obviously, to Toronto. So we just leave early in the morning, then come back in the evening. Oh, well, we went to the ROM too. That was another place. Yeah, I had a trip to the ROM. I don't think it was in. It was in high school, maybe. And I remember my teacher at the time. It was, so this was in grade seven, Mr. Decevito, and he was really into comic books and stuff. So was I. And so we worked out a side trip. Well, like with, with permission and everything, they went to the Silver Snail. That was the first time I went to the Silver Snail. Yeah. So that's going back. Well, that's. I don't even know what year. 87, 88? Right. Point being is that the snail we were talking about the other day, it's been open forever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know exactly when it opened. Well, you can have one. And I, I remember going there specifically and buying two, because my sister was really big into Archie's back then, Archie comics. Yeah. I, I know you were. Really I was well. also, yeah. But I bought her. I knew she would, like, because they had the rack with all the new comics, but I knew she would just already have the new ones. Right. So I had, you know, I had a couple bucks, so I was like, I'll try to find, like, the oldest Archie here I can get, get for, because I know she probably wouldn't have it. But the old ones were kind of expensive, like, yeah, you know, 100 bucks. I'm like, oh, 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 I can't afford <laughs> that. So I just got one from, like... I think it was from the 50s. It was like a Jughead or something like that. Okay. It was like 15 bucks or something. I think she still has it. Cool. I don't have a lot of the old issues of the actual comics. Yeah, you got the digest, comics. So. I have a lot of... I have all the digests going back to the very first one. Which right? were reprints yeah. of the single issue. Right, comics. yeah. So I have the number one Archie digest. But... The oldest comics themselves I have are from the 60s. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I didn't really... So you actually have some of the Archies from the 60s? Yeah, from the 60s. But the Archies started in the late 40s, right? So well, yeah, those are the I don't ones. think the 60s ones are particularly, you know, valuable or anything. To be honest, not, not a knock against Archies, but Archies aren't generally no. really sought after. No. But I mean, the older, definitely the older ones are. So when I went in, uh, the ones that I saw, like the $100 on the video, were most likely ones from the late 40s. Right. So the ones I got, which was two issues I was talking about, those are from the 50s. But I mean, I'd like to refine it because they're just in a storage bin somewhere. I still know they're around. Just, it's just a fine one. Right. I'd like to pull them out and just reevaluate them. Then we just crossed Young Street. Oh, uh, the next one. So now we're walking through the financial district, which is bound to be pretty dead <laughs> yeah. on a holiday Monday. Hey, I wanted to ask, because I walked over uh, last night on my way back from the show. You know when you cross over, there's a couple like bridges you cross over. One is like the go train tracks and stuff. And there's another one that's like the ravine or whatever. I don't know if that's what it is. But what are those structures now that they have? You know what I'm talking about? Like there's these big metal structures covering one big section that almost looks like the ravine. Does that make sense what I'm saying? I think you're talking about the Up Express corridor. Yeah. It's like these. Yeah. Yeah, like. Like. Metal. Metal bars that yes. go across the top of yeah. the railroad trench. Have yeah, that, that's no. They put those in when they built the Up Express okay. line. I yeah. thought so because I never remembered them before. Right. 
And they're just yeah. big monstrosities. Yeah, the Up Express is the train that goes between Union Station and the airport. So what do those big structures serve? They're not tracks. I don't know. I guess they're just sort of a... It's just um, off. Like, it's not like a roof, but it's just sort of a sort of structure. I guess so. Just partially <laughs> protecting the railroad trench, I guess. I'm not sure it's what off. their purpose is. So I wonder if they'll have, um, almost at Comic-Con, I meant to say, uh, <laughs> well, I can't remember the name. <laughs> the big comic convention at the end of... Fan Expo. Fan Expo, so yeah. that's what I meant to say. That'll probably be back, I'm assuming, probably full... Oh, yeah. Now with the restrictions and stuff being lifted. Yeah. Really? Did they have it last year? Yeah. It was scaled down, but they had it. Here's Bay Street. Not that I would go to it again, I was just... Right, yeah, I have no interest in going to that anymore. And the Toronto Dominion Center. For the little bit of fun you have in there, it isn't worth the major bucks you paid to get in. Right. But it was fun that one time we went. We had... Yeah, I mean, like 10 years ago it was... <laughs> yeah. Was that was one of the bigger ones that year. We just happened yeah. to go to one of the huge ones. Yeah. The one thing, there was a couple of memories I have from that day, but one of them was specifically, remember, you know, they had the, that section where all the celebrities and whatnot are signing autographs? Yeah. So you get in line, right? And they had Elvira and that chick from um, Buffy. Right. Was it Buffy herself? It was Faith, no, it was, right? The girl who played Faith, know, Eliza Dushku or whatever her name is. Right. Yeah. And they had uh, Anthony Daniels there. But anyway, I remember Robert England was there, Freddie. And, we, you know, we were looking at some of these, but I was interested in getting an autograph or standing in line. But do you remember we see some kid, I say kid, in his 20s or whatever, he comes running down and he's in full Freddie cosplay. He's got the claws and the stripes and, you know, and he's running up and just that, they, they close the line. They're like, uh, this is close. He just looks so like I don't know if he was running late from work or whatever. Right. But he gets to the the, the line and he sees that it's close. And he just so looks so crestfallen, like he's just like, oh, like he can't believe like that was the whole point. Right. I'm getting Robert England's autograph. He's got the Freddy costume on and everything. Denied. I felt bad for him. You snooze, you lose. Yeah. Yep. Just took too, a little too long to set my costume up. Yep. So what happened to all the, um, it just reminded me talking about uh, the convention there, what happened to all the people that used to stand around in Dundas Square? They seem to be all gone. Like All the characters? Yeah, I don't know. Spider-Man. There's still one Spider-Man guy. Is there? Yeah, the guy who used to go around on a longboard. I guess yeah. he still does. So he's back now. I know Toronto Batman retired from doing that. Yeah, there's no new Batman downtown. What happened to Spock? John Spock? I haven't seen him in years. Okay. Yep. So I don't know. Maybe it was just wasn't lucrative enough for them. Who knows? Yeah. And I know like some of them gave up hanging around at Dundas Square. I think because there was too much competition there. There was too many <laughs> other characters, and you know there's only so much money to go around, right? So to get crazy, yeah. so they started to spread out to other parts of the city. There was one who would go to Queen and Spadina. Then there was one who would go down by the CN Tower, by the aquarium and right. stuff like that, just to try and get their own territory. You know. But yeah, Peter Parkour is the uh, Spider-Man guy. Peter Parkour? Yeah. Because <laughs> he climbs all over everything. And... Well, he doesn't so... have to change the name. Peter Parker does anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he's back now. I caught him on video just a couple weeks ago. Oh, actually. really? Yeah. In the live stream. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a new Batman. You know, there is 
Brampton Batman, but he's Brampton. always in, he's never he's comes in never comes downtown. He's just in Brampton. <laughs> Yeah, they get really territorial, you know, when they're <laughs> all trying to compete for the same... I heard in, like, Hollywood and shit, they fight with each other. Right? Yeah. I, I've, I've seen videos. I don't know how often it happens. Yeah. And the ones in Times Square get really aggressive to the point where it's become a bit of a problem and the city is actually yeah. trying to get it under control, you know? There was kind of a famous one. I don't know if he's a character, but the naked cowboy in time. Yeah, he's still there. So. Yeah. There's University Avenue. But, like, I've seen things online about the, uh, like, the Elmo or whatever, the, or the yeah. mini the Minnie Mouse in yeah. Times Square, like grabbing people or like punching people yeah. and stuff like that because they try to take a picture without giving them a tip first yeah. you know no my other memory I just popped in my head from uh Fan Expo was a couple years after that you didn't go to. We met up, but you didn't go to it. I went with Julie and her kid. Right. But I remember being like, oh, whatever, I'll make the best of it. And I remember, I know Richard Dreyfus is one of your favorite actors, so like, I'll get a picture of him. But you're not allowed to walk up and take pictures of him. Right. You're not even allowed to go within like a few point, meters of him. But I'm thinking to myself, what's the worst that could happen? I'll get kicked out. I don't care. <laughs> right. Kick me out. <laughs> so I walk up. I wasn't right in his face. I wasn't you know, um, invaded his personal nothing. But I was in that area where you're not supposed to go. Right. So I snap <laughs> off a couple pics. And a little security girl comes up, and she's just so small and petite. Like, there's no way she could, like, physically... Not that I would have put up a fight, but it was just yeah. funny, because what's she going to do? Like, put me in a full Nelson and drag me out? <laughs> but anyways, and all the nerds are looking at me like, how dare you? Right. <laughs> and she's like, you are not allowed to take pictures in this. And I'm like, okay, well... I'm done anyway, so... But they didn't kick me out. <laughs> no. <laughs> as well as I was kind of hoping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The kid in the yeah. stroller was staring at my camera. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to play with it. <laughs> there was a new something going on when I was riding into town yesterday. For the, uh, the, yeah, the wrong, you know how every couple months they'll have it, like a new exhibit or whatever? Yeah. And I think it was how life started, I think was the, the theme or whatever. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I guess they're... That sounds you know, like, interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're going to be talking about like ancient, ancient earth life and yeah. plankton mm -hmm. or whatever, I don't know. All right. But yeah, it's something could be interesting. Look, it's Canada's Walk of Fame. Was this it? Lauren Michaels. Oh, Lauren Michaels. Oh, Mike yeah. Myers. Mike Myers, yeah. <laughs> Where's Bill Shatner? We gotta find Bill Shatner. He's somewhere. There's like more on that side and more doing going down Simcoe Street. Bill Shatner's probably over there. I think the kids in the hall have their own like a star just for the whole troop. But then I think a couple of them might have their own individual. You would have thought they would have put that over Here it by is. the kids in the hall. Yeah. You mm -hmm. would have thought that would have been over by Lauren Michaels, maybe. Oh, the, that one's yeah. autographed. Some of them are autographed. Yeah. But I, I would imagine like Dave Foley or someone might have their own star. I don't oh, know. I know I, I'd have to check it out. Because he's by far the most famous one, just because of news radio. Yeah, James yeah. Phil Hartman. Yep. <laughs> Randy Bachman. <laughs> yeah, there's some bands. Blue yeah. Rubio. Yeah. I wonder where Leonard Cohen's is. He's mm. got to have Oh, yeah, he has one. It's somewhere. The band. Lauren Green. The, yeah. only, the only ones that I don't recognize are the sports ones, because I'm not very knowledgeable about all the sports no, celebrities it, you know is it just canadian or is it more like focused on like ontario or it's Toronto? canadian anyone who's canadian, canadian. yeah 
like born in Canada, or even I guess someone who became a Canadian at some point. Well, if there were any sports ones, you'd think there'd be like a ton of hockey guys. Yeah, there are a bunch of hockey guys, and they are names that I don't even recognize. Well, let's, you know? like I don't watch <laughs> hockey either, but let's think right off the bat: Wayne Gretzky. Oh yeah, Mario Lemieux. Yeah, Rocket Richard. Yeah, I mean, there's some though that I'm like, who is this? It's just some name that sounds unknown to me. Yeah. Wasn't there kind of a famous pocket player just passed away a couple weeks ago? I could be wrong. Yeah, that was, uh, wasn't that Mario Lemieux? No. No? Okay. No, wait a sec. It was, uh, he's French. Uh, yeah. What's the, yeah, I can't remember his name. What about Gordie Howe? They must have a song for Gordie Howe. Yeah, I would imagine. I don't know. Canadian. I think so, yeah. Tim Hortons? My my hockey knowledge is very limited, so... <laughs> yeah, me too. Do you think they have a Tim Hortons, sir? They must have a Tim Hortons. Yeah, they probably do. So, I remember when I was younger, Tim Hortons, like, the, you know, the restaurant, the coffee shop, they were all over the place, but Cochrane didn't have one, because I don't know, maybe we were just the region or we weren't big enough or whatever. Right. But everyone was kind of, not complaining, but kind of like, well, you know, he was born here. But you'd think we'd have one. Like, if right. Lawrence was born in Cochrane. And eventually they got one. And that is the origin of that. <laughs> How far to belly buses? Belly buses is just a couple more blocks up. How did you discover belly buses? Because well, you knew it before I... You, you recommend it because I we, think maybe I, someone said something about it on the internet. On the internet? Yeah. Because we used to, the kind of, the tradition was, to, if you remember, big, great big slice. Yeah. 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 That place, big right? slice. Like, well, what the heck? R.I.P. Big slice. Yeah. What was it like? Big slice. Big slice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like, well, I'll eat somewhere else. You know, you get off the bus or train or whatever, you need to get a bite to eat. Right. Yeah. See, I remember you saying that there was they were going to potentially reopen Big Slice. Well, know? that's what the talk was about, but never happened. Yeah. And they had two um, locations. Well, there's still a, a location called Big Slice up on St. Clair Avenue. Is it a connection, though? Well, I don't know. I've never been to it. No, I never went to it. It's just too out of the way, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Though I thought maybe it was the same franchise or same... It brand. might be. It might even be... It's just been open for a while. I don't know how long. Yeah. It's been there for quite a few years now. This is the entertainment district, if I didn't mention that already. Entertainment district? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where? I don't see any entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of those things. What do you just that just went by a scooter or yeah. whatever you want to call? Them? Yeah. I don't know if that's a new thing or they've been around forever and uh, haven't noticed. No, they've been around for a while. Because yeah. I saw someone going down the path inside on the like, Zettel House. Really? Yeah. Huh. I know the stairs and stuff. You had to get off of that stuff, but yeah. Huh. I don't think people try to go down the stairs. With them. <laughs> Not normally, no. It's a good dog walking day. Yep. Here is Peter Street, looking north. It's an interesting architecture, though. I don't know. Which one? This hotel? Over here? Yeah. Just, I mean, just curves and stuff. There's a light bulb, so maybe we'll be up there. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to you got to uh, do a video one of these days, or we'll, I don't know why I want to check it out again. That streetcar that goes underground, and there's two. 
Oh yeah, but I've done that. But there's only one that has an actual underground. It's the only underground streetcar station in the city. There's only one station. Well, there's actually more than one. There's three stations. Yeah, three that I know of. But that aren't attached to the subway. It's just independently oh. streetcar. Oh, aren't attached to the yes, subway. Okay. Exactly. It's just streetcar. there's one. The Harborfront Station. Is that where it is? Uh, Bay Street. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess a lot of people were accidentally driving accidentally down into it. I don't know how people mess Right. Up. Yeah, yeah. People exactly. do that. Yeah. But I they haven't changed it. I think it's mm-hmm. still the way it was. Yeah, because there's some that are also like subway stations. Right, right yeah. Like Spadina and St. Yeah. Clair West have but that one underground is... streetcar connections to the yeah. subway. But that one in Harborfront is just... Right. <laughs> And hey, look, I found belly busters. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well, I so, got pull riders. So let's oh, head right. let's head inside. What's that? Yeah. Look for a pull ride? We'll see if our picture is still there. Yeah. Better be. <laughs> Come on, not too far. Hello. Hi there. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm right. just going to. So I'm just going to. I'll stop the yeah, video and then the we will yeah. restart. We're just going to look for our when we have our food. To be continued. So Jim, how is that sub? Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Very fresh. Awesome. That hit the spot. Awesome. Yeah, you do. Know you? Yeah. You gotta say something funny like me. If that was funny, I don't know. Oh, wait. wait, wait no, I got you. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Rub a dub dub. <laughs> nothing better than a sub. <laughs> Good wine. <sighs> Good old belly busters. Guess I'm dropping all my poppies. <laughs> So I'm going to wrap the video. Hope you enjoyed the walk from Dundas and Sherborne. South along Sherborne, all the way to King Street East. And then we walked west along King Street, all the way into the entertainment district here on King Street West to Belly Busters. So leave a comment below if you enjoyed the walk. And excuse my chewing. And <laughs> be sure to like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my merch store. And I've also recently enabled Super Thanks. And you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue to eat this sub. As will Jim. I will. That is true.